chess, gangs, mental illness, homelessness, and a guy who's 300 pounds with no teeth. The Dark Horse is a true story about Genesis Portini, an incredible human being who uh, somehow managed to help, uh, in particular, youth at risk to turn their lives around through the game of chess. It was a huge amount I did. You know, I couldn't have done it without the support of the writer, director James Napier Robertson, the producer Tom Hearn, my wife, my children, the crew. Everybody had to be in on this idea because the, the director proposed. The only way that I could really achieve the role was to be in, take on method acting, which I'd never done before, which is where you live in the role for the duration of the shoot and prep. So I lived as Jesus Portini for three months with my family, which was extraordinary and somewhat painful for my family, I think. I'm still making up for it. I put on a huge amount of weight. I um, became obsessed by, by, um, by playing chess. I played chess 24 hours a day to sort of get myself in the right mental state. But there were some nights where I slept rough on the streets. And Genesis also loved the beer, so I drank a lot of beer, which helped me keep the weight on. And, um, and that was fun, playing lots of drunken chess. We need to tell stories about ourselves in order to understand who we are. That's just sort of a fact. If we don't have stories, if there are no Scottish films or television, then Scottish people, in effect, don't exist for themselves or for the world. And the same for Māori people or Irish people or you know, any people. If we don't have stories that reflect who we are, then we're watching stories about other people and we're trying to understand ourselves through others. And it, it distorts the way we perceive ourselves, really. It was the thing that fascinated me most. The mental illness aspect was just fascinating to me, was that when you get into a point of mania where reality is no longer, you're not sure where the line is, what's real and what isn't real. And that's fascinating. I mean, when mania, there's a, there's a type of hypermania where you become high functioning and you can do a huge amount of work and you're very, very effective and your mind sort of kicks into this different gear and you're not cluttered by any insecurities. You absolutely believe everything that you think is going to happen is going to happen, and uh, which is kind of scary and exciting all at the same time. So I was fascinated with that. I'm losing a game with the director right now as we speak. I'm playing online with him in New Zealand and me here. You know, I'm allowed to tell you that I met Robert Kirkman, the creator of the show, Dave Alpert, Gail Ann Hurd, fantastic team. Amazing cask from like Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and also America. And that's all I'm allowed to tell you. You believe it? We had a great time shooting the pilot. So I think the plan is we go in and shoot the other five episodes um, in April. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that. Who knows? We might shoot another 12 episodes or 500 million episodes. See, I just got to bombard you with more information. I love it here. I love the weather. love the architecture. I just think it's amazing.